All right, changing gears here. Um, I have a question regarding um, Benjamin Netanyahu over in Israel. I'll talk to you about this briefly, but it says, mm-hmm. Steve, do you know anything about what's going on over in Israel right now regarding politicians being brought up on corruption charges, including Benjamin Netanyahu being questioned or under investigation? Yeah, um, I've I've read some articles on that, and uh, Matt uh, told me this question was coming up, so <clears throat> I real quick uh, went through and, and uh, read an article um, right before uh, we went on air here. And, uh, you know, this is, this is stuff that is just kind of the norm for Israeli politics. And especially when uh, you have a, a guy who's uh, more, you know, we always talk about uh, left wing and right wing and, and uh, that kind of thing when we're talking about politics. And I really hate uh, the, the names that are put on this stuff. You know, um, every, everything that I believe was middle of the road from the 1960s. Mm. Everything I believe was middle of the road in the 1970s. It's not, it's not, it's not something that was right wing. And so what's happened with politics is a, a, a whole number of people have moved far, far, far to the left over the years. And so they would call me right wing. I don't care. Uh, and I, you know, it's the same thing over in Israeli politics. One of the things that you have with a, with a Jewish nation is they like to well, I, I don't want to say that about them, but, uh, you know, they, there's a, uh, they mirror the, the news media in the United States. They mirror the, the news media, media in Europe and that kind of thing. And so you have a bunch of people who are far left in Israel. And so this latest thing with Net- Netanyahu, there, there have been some things that um, he's, he's done over the years that, Probably weren't a great idea. So I, I was reading about uh, one trip. He he uh, flew on a plane and uh, and did this whole thing with a bed on the plane, and it was one hundred twenty seven thousand dollars for the for the for the airline to uh, provide him with this. I guess it was a state room, or, or I don't know what the deal was, but <clears throat> he he didn't know how much it cost. He said, and uh, um, when he when he was told about it, he goes, he said, "That'll never happen again." And and then they moved on. But he's he's come up on uh, a number of different charges um, over the years, uh, different scandals, and every single time that this was uh, brought to the um, brought to the courts, every single one was dismissed. And so that just smacks to me of, of political gamesmanship and and guys trying to come up with something to make him ineffective and, and that kind of thing. And you know. I, I believe um, that you are innocent until proved guilty, and uh, um, I believe they have the same standard over in Israel. And so we'll see. The stuff that I read about was this: that this is about champagne and cigars. That he's got friends who are giving him champagne and cigars, and so uh, that's uh, if it's a gift, it's Israeli state property. Where do you take the champagne and, get, and cigars when somebody gives it to you? If it's Israeli state property. And his lawyer came out with a with the fact that um, you know you're allowed to have friends and friends are allowed to give you stuff. Right. And so that's what it looks like. And if you can weigh the uh, leanings of a political person with a cigar, yeah, I mean, yeah exactly. <laughs> you know, oh a, yeah, I gave you a cigar. You're gonna <laughs> you're gonna give me the Israeli bank. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah, <laughs> for sure. You know, the other thing that I thought of with that is uh, a couple years ago I moved out to the area, so it's all. It's all government, you know, it's like, it's, it's literally a different world. And the, the way they do money is you can buy the same thing or the same service, whether it's working on a car, or whatever, in the private world for almost a third of what the government does. And so mm-hmm. when you're talking about a bed for 127,000, what is it? An eighth of the plane's cost. <laughs> I, I mean, who can charge $127,000 for the bed, but you tack government on it and that's the bill. And he's probably like, what? And then it yeah, goes from there. Exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I understand, yeah. So, yeah. Take it with a grain of salt, and then, I don't know, like Steve did, do your research. and Yeah. Um, usually what happens with these things is they're, they're in, the, in the newspapers for months, you know, and, um, and, and again, it can be a political thing, and every other time it's just gone away. I've seen this a number of times, specifically with Netanyahu. Yeah. It goes for a few months, half a year, a year, and then all of a sudden it's dismissed. And, and so um, that, again, that's, that's politics. Yeah. Is he on his? How do they do that over there for terms? Is he on his last term as prime minister, or can he run again for another whatever they do five years or whatever it is? You, you know what? Uh, they have a parliamentary system, and um, they have 
uh, they put together a coalition government. And so I don't, I don't know if they have terms like we do. The, the reason that he's in power is because he's basically the leader of his party, and his party has put together a, a coalition government, and so he gets to be um, prime minister. Yeah. Okay. Along with, uh, I think he's uh, communications minister, too. <coughs> All right, you good on that? 